So the result that we have, uh, the objects that we're looking at are called wolf ray stars. Um, this is a type of massive evolved star. Uh, so these evolve from stars that are over 20 times the mass of our sun. Not only are they 20 times more massive, but they're also uh, millions of times more luminous than the sun. So these are some of the most extreme stars that we know of. So this particular star is called WR112. So the WR stands for Wolf Ray. Um, this is a particularly interesting Wolf Ray star because it's forming dust. So the reason why this is so unusual is because, like I mentioned, uh, these stars are very luminous, uh, they're very hot, and they also have very fast uh, what are called stellar winds. So they're ejecting materials at very high velocities over thousands of kilometers a second. So the fact that we see dust, uh, which condenses in very cool environments, is actually quite a big mystery. Um, so this is why we are interested in this particular object, uh, WR112. So to explain the results, uh, what I'm showing you here is a sequence of images of this source, WR112. Um, and you can actually see uh, that it's moving over time. So these are instruments uh, and observatories uh, that we've observed this with since 2001, or not, not me personally, uh, but several groups have observed this with, um, with Gemini, uh, both north and south, uh, with Keck, uh, with a very large telescope, and then uh, finally with uh, Subaru. You'll see, uh, if you look very carefully at the, these two uh, spur-shaped structures here, they actually change in orientation as you look through these different uh, look through these different sequence of images. We have over we have around 20 years of observations of this target, um, and what it actually shows is this this beautiful spiral rotation motion, um, which was really quite uh, surprising to us. So in this image here, uh, on the left side, explains how this system. Uh, is forming dust and uh, sort of the you can see the orbital motion traced out by the dotted lines of those two stars there so, so those two um, bright blue dots or spheres those are the stars that compose the central binary mm -hmm. so the O star the companion star is the one that's embedded in this reddish orange uh, spiral dust shock uh, cone and then the one outside of that is the wolf ray star uh, that's the uh, hot, massive star. So this is, they're orbiting around each other on time scales of about 20 years, and that's, that orbital motion is actually what's causing the appearance of this uh, spiral, this three-dimensional spiral. So, um, as I show on this left image, the direction, the viewing angle that we have towards this system is not face-on like we see in that left image. It's actually closer to edge on, which is what we see in the right image. Meaning that the orbit, instead of looking like they're spiraling around each other like this, you actually turn it a little bit more so it's aligned with our line of sight. And because of that, it'll affect the morphology or the appearance of this dust shock cone uh, that's forming. So this spiral dust cone will look very different depending on how we're viewing it. And this system, WR112, produces a lot of dust. Uh, it produces around an earth mass of dust every year, which is a pretty substantial quantity of dust. So um, this has some pretty interesting implications for the origin of dust in the early universe. Uh, we expect these types of systems to exist in the early universe.